While a new algorithm detects if you're depressed based on the filters you use in Instagram, you may have missed the real-life pack dog, the sleeping solution you need, and Ford's big self-driving plan. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we used to act like the future was driverless cars, except, oh yeah, in Helsinki, they're already testing these people pods in real traffic. It's not the future. I'm so confused. Ford will be mass producing vehicles with full autonomy within five years. After more than a decade in development, Ford Motor Company announced that its self-driving car technology will be ready by 2021. Don't pull out your checkbooks just yet. These cars will be way too expensive for regular drivers to afford. Instead, Ford expects the cars to be used as part of an Uber-like autonomous ride-sharing service. And since Uber just bought self-driving truck company Auto, this is gonna be a driverless cars race that will probably end up looking like this. <laughs> Trying to sleep in the car or on a plane is probably the lowest rung of hell. And that's why we have not one, but two trending Kickstarter campaigns to fill you in on. First up is the Nod Pod, which I seriously considered backing until a coworker told me to tie a string on an existing neck pillow and call it a day. Fair point, sir. Also, it looks exactly like this Tim and Eric skit. We'd be on this river and it would okay. wind around like this. Sure, why not? We have our fish. I understand. Pole. So then we discovered the face cradle. Not one, two, or even three positions. This thing has five different ways to use what looks like a flippable toilet seat to cradle your face. May you most enjoy deep sleep mode, AKA the most awkward thing to have to do next to a stranger on a plane. And that includes the bad fish incident of 2013. And you can look forward to upgrading to sleeping class. And finally, some YouTubers deserving love and admiration made a Pac-Man style video with a dog determined to pop all the balloons. I mean, eat all the food. 